Hello friends and welcome to my channel technical education to solve technical problems this is FG Wilson 550 kVA generator with Perkins 25061 and we are facing a problem of water pump leakage from the v-pole there you can see the stains of the water leakage from the v-pole if the leakage is minor it is acceptable but if the leakage is major you have to replace the water pump seal if the leakage is resulting in water level drop from the radiator you have to replace the water pump seal first you have to remove the thermostat housing as the thermostat housing is installed on the water pump and you can no, you cannot remove the water pump without removing the thermostat housing after you have removed the thermostat housing you have to remove the oil cooler lose the bolts of the oil cooler remove the bolts of the oil cooler and then you can easily remove the oil cooler this is oil cooler of Perkins 2506 engine lose the adjuster of the pulley the nut after losing the adjuster and the bolts of the adjuster we will remove the adjuster as the bolts are passing from the adjuster and into the water pump the bolts holding the adjuster and the water pump are common to remove the water pump you have to remove the bolts of the adjuster after removing the bolts of the adjuster you can easily remove the water pump there you can see clearly the stains of the water leakage from the v-pole Carefully remove the water pump. The gear of the water pump is installed in the gear drive assembly. And the crankshaft idler gear is driving this water pump. After removing the water pump, we have taken it to our workshop and here you can see the gear removal of the water pump is in progress remove the gear of the water pump with the help of puller and same process is for removing the Impeller. The impeller is in very bad condition so we have brought it to a welder for repairing purpose the new one is very costly and saving the cost for the customer is our priority here you can see with the help of welding the new pins are made and the damage damaged fins are repaired the impeller is almost like a new one here you can see it's almost like a new one the welder has done a great job the next step is cleaning the water pump housing and installing the new water pump seal that water pump seal is from the local market that is not the genuine cat or perkins water pump seal the engine for the cat c15 perkins 2506 perkins 2306 perkins 2806 almost complete 2000 series is almost the same engine with very minor difference
make sure that the seal is perfectly installed in the housing of the water pump that is the seal which was original but we haven't installed it clean all the holes in the water pump the cooling holes for the water pump seals and also the oil holes that is the water pump seal we have installed it on impeller now we will install the bearings on to the water pump shaft hmm. drive shaft that is a water pump drive shaft and with the help of hydraulic press we are going to install the bearing on the hydraulic shaft carefully press the bearing onto the drive shaft assembly this is the hydraulic press we are using to install the bearing and after installing the bearing we will install the gear of the water pump and the impeller with the help of hydraulic press that is the drive gear of the water pump make sure that the hydraulic press perfectly presses the gear the drive gear of the water pump now slide the water pump on to the housing into the housing and then install the impeller this is the impeller it will be installed with the help of the hydraulic press rotate the body of the water pump to make sure that it's not locked and fill the water inside the water pump housing inside the water pump to make sure that it's not leaking after leak test install the water pump onto the engine match the teeth the gears and then install the adjuster as i have already told you that the bolts of the adjuster are tied into the water pump from the adjuster the bolts holding the adjuster and the water pump are almost all of them are common loose the adjuster to install the belts and after installing the belts and the remaining parts we will start the engine and check for the leaks here you can see we have started the engine and no leakage from the water pump and water pump is perfectly repaired thanks for watching the video subscribe the channel for more videos like that if you like the video don't forget to share it with your friends